beautiful and colorful kites are ready to take flight in Green Bay. Pauline is checking out Fly a Kite Fest this morning. Hi, Pauline. Well, my kite is going to take flight in three, two, one. Hopefully. Wait. Yay! Yay! <laughs> So I am here with Paula, who is the executive director of the Family and Child Care Resource. Uh, Paula, tell me about Fly a Kite event. So Fly a Kite event, it's our second annual, and we are here from 10 to 4 today. Uh -huh. You'll be able to see lots of great kites in the air, just like this one, yeah. and uh, ones that are even bigger. Yeah, I see someone trying to launch that massive cat over there. I see a panda behind me. All kinds of things. So tell me about some of the new kind of high flyers coming this year so we have uh, a new stunt team coming this time uh -huh. so we had a stunt team last year so there'll be two of them this year Ooh. Um, and so we have more kiters coming with mm -hmm. uh, with uh, more kites and bigger kites yeah so it'll be it'll be a great day lots of wonderful wind out here today yes I was about to say today's probably like a perfect day to fly a kite now this event great fun for the family it's free for people to attend but there's a meaning, there's a bigger initiative behind the kites. Sure, Fly Kite um, is an event for us to raise some additional dollars for our agency. So we like to um, help families and promote healthy child development. Mm -hmm. And so it helps with our programming such as home visiting, um, parent education, trainings, workshops, our play and learn groups that we have once a week, yeah. things like that. Fly a Kite event raised thousands of dollars last year that helped you guys do things you wouldn't normally do, you wouldn't be able to do. Absolutely, absolutely. So last year uh, we raised the dollars and we used them for some of our um, uh, play and learns. We did some field trips, so we got parents and kids to places that they normally wouldn't be able to go because of lack of transportation or uh, entrance fees to some of the different attractions around, around the city. Well, that's awesome. So we're here at the Arnie Wolf Com Sports Complex Center. People can park here, but this year you added a shuttle. We added a shuttle. So um, if the parking lot's full here, um, you can park at Celebration Church, and we have a shuttle that's running um, continuously between 10 and 4. Um, and so people can get here and, uh, and not uh, be unsafe by parking on the street. So yeah. come out, park at Celebration Church, and grab the shuttle. Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun and lots of things to see. You guys see that like green and orangey kind mm -hmm. of ball type of thing? Yep. Apparently I'm going to be running with that next segment yes. with that on my back and we'll see if um, that might just take me away. So <laughs> It probably told, will. You know, I can let go, but yes. <laughs> we'll find out next. And Pauline, <laughs> I have to say you're a great multitasker. You're doing a live shot and flying a kite all at the same time. I have to say, pretty talented. I I learned from the best, Emily. Learned from the best. <laughs> well, thanks, Polly. <laughs> I thought that's me, but it's probably the people out there because I don't like heights well. <laughs>